Hello everyone, kumusta po kayo? I hope that you're all doing good. In this video, let us take up another question. The question is, is it true that foreigners cannot inherit land in the Philippines? The answer to that question needs to be qualified. Under the law, the right to inherit is governed by the provisions of the Civil Code of the Philippines on succession. And there are two types of succession, the state or testamentary succession and intestate succession. By the state or testamentary succession, it means that you inherit because you are named as an heir in the last will and testament of the decedent or the person who died. By intestate succession, it means that the decedent died without a will and therefore the distribution of his estate shall be governed by law. That means the identification of the qualified heirs and the amount of share that goes to each of them is based on what the law provides. This is the default setting, so to speak. Now, what does the 1987 Philippine Constitution provide? As a general rule, foreigners are not allowed to acquire lands in the Philippines. The exception is through hereditary succession. It means that foreign citizens cannot legally buy a piece of land in the Philippines. He cannot also be a beneficiary of a land donation in the Philippines. Whether by sale or by donation, a foreign citizen is prohibited by the constitution from being a transferee of a piece of land. What do we mean by that exception? That is through hereditary succession. The Supreme Court interpreted this as inheriting by way of intestate succession. As I have already explained earlier, intestate succession means inheriting by operation of law. A foreigner is allowed to inherit land in the Philippines only if he is a legal heir of the decedent who died without a last will and testament. In other words, a foreigner cannot inherit through testamentary succession. He cannot be a recipient of an inheritance through a will. This is because if a foreigner would be allowed to inherit through a will, no one can stop a foreigner from buying a piece of land under the name of a Filipino citizen and require that Filipino to execute a will naming him as the sole heir. Or for that foreigner to buy a piece of land and to require the seller to just execute a will instead of a deed of sale. It will make it easy for people to circumvent the law. Let us say, for example, Joe is a U.S. citizen who was born to parents who were naturalized U.S. citizens. Both his parents are deceased and Joe is now residing in the U.S. Joe's grandfather, a Filipino citizen and a registered owner of a parcel of land in the Philippines, just died of cancer. The surviving heirs are Joe and his two other cousins. Is Joe entitled to inherit from his grandfather? The answer is yes. Even if Joe is a foreign citizen, he is entitled to a share in the inheritance because he succeeds through interstate succession. And because of that, Joe becomes a co-owner of that real property in the Philippines. Let's take another example. Let's say Damien, an Australian citizen, married Lisa, a Filipina. Damien financed the acquisition of a beach resort property in the Philippines, but because he was disqualified from buying a property in the Philippines, the property was registered in the name of his wife. Lisa died in a car accident without other heirs except Damien. Can Damien inherit the property from Lisa? The answer is yes. It is because Damien is a legal heir and he inherits the property by interstate succession. But let us say Kim, a Canadian chiropractor, used to spend her vacation in the Philippines and during her stay in the Philippines, she was able to help Greg, a Filipino octogenarian. As a token of his gratitude, Greg named Kim in his last will and testament as the one to inherit his farm with a rest house overlooking the Sarangani Bay. 
If Greg dies, can Kim inherit from him? The answer is no. Kim, being a foreigner, cannot acquire the property by testamentary succession. I hope that these examples have made this matter clear. I hope that you have learned something from this video. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Always remember, ignorance of the law excuses no one from compliance therewith. I will see you in my next video. Ingat po kayo.